Tonight, a community grieves after the deadly shooting inside Reynolds High School. Tonight, friends and family are remembering the young man killed inside, and we are learning more about the gunman as well. Reynolds High School is closed tomorrow, of course, as investigators continue to go through the evidence at the scene there. And late tonight, we heard there will be an increased police presence at all schools, Portland schools and schools throughout the district for the remainder of the school year. For complete coverage of the shooting and investigation tonight, we begin with Jessica Morkert, live where a vigil just wrapped up in Troutdale for the young teenager killed in that shooting today. Jessica. And Jeff and Kelly, there were literally hundreds of people here. And even at this 11 o'clock hour, there are still people here. You can see them off in the distance with their lights underneath the middle school overhang there, remembering Emilio Hoffman. We saw law enforcement, friends, family, and plenty of strangers all here to remember a 14 year old boy whose life was tragically cut short. He was a really good guy. He didn't deserve to be taken this young. On the basketball courts of Walt Morey Middle School, the same courts where Emilio Hoffman played at recess, is where family, friends, even strangers gathered to pay their respects. After first period, he would always stop by my locker sometimes and he'd always like just joke around with me. Classmates tell me 14 year old Emilio Hoffman was aggressively uplifting and social, a joy to run into in the halls of Reynolds High School. The soccer player likely would have gone varsity next year playing as a defender, but his sudden death is more than shocking. And you know, that stuff really does happen. You just got to realize that it, it can happen at your school. and. That's what happened today, and it's just so sad that we lost someone that's such a great guy as Emilio. Emilio was in the men's locker room, which we found out is next to the gym at Reynolds High School. Those who knew him grieve over his violent death and wonder if he could have hid in any of the locker room space. There's a lot of places he could have ran, but you can't really think when you get put in a situation when there's a gun pointing at you. Maury's soccer field wasn't the only location where vigils were held tonight. At Resurrection Lutheran Church on Northeast 132nd and Halsey, the congregation requested a prayer service from its pastor. The same pastor showed up at the middle school tonight, too. Friends requested that candles be lit and passed around to strangers, a social activity Emilio would have wanted them to do. And tonight there are multiple Twitter hashtags set up in Emilio Hoffman's name, including this one, which is hashtag play for Emilio Hoffman. This is something that his fellow soccer players set up for him, and they tell me they're going to dedicate their next season to him. I'm also told that there's a fund set up for funeral expenses. If you'd like to know more information about that, you can go to our website at coin.com. Live in Troutdale, Jessica Morker, Coin 6 News.